Hello and welcome back to Don's Drum Vault. Well, today I'm sitting here behind uh, Joey Kramer's Aerosmith early 70s Fibes Clear drum set. Uh, this is a really cool kit from the very early pivotal stages of Aerosmith, a band that's been together uh, for over 40 years and has been extremely influential, often considered the greatest American rock and roll band ever. So, early in the uh, stages of the Aerosmith career, uh, Aerosmith was touring with the Mahavishnu Orchestra with the legendary Billy Cobham at the drums. Uh, Billy Cobham is playing Clear Fibes drums, which Aerosmith drummer Joey Kramer was so enamored with that he went out and got himself a set. And that is what I'm sitting behind here today. Um, it's really been exciting for me doing the detective work on tracking down the whole story behind this set. You know, sometimes I get a drum set like this directly from the artist and it's really easy to track the history because the guy can just tell me. Um, but this one went through a couple of different owners by the time it got to me. And so it's been a real adventure sort of tracking down um, the, uh, the history of this drum set. I do have a little bit of communication with Joey Kramer and he was actually very helpful. He was able to acknowledge that he gave a clear five set like this to his friend Jerry Elliott way back in the 70s. Then the guy that I bought this from bought this set from the same J uh, Jerry Elliott. So we know that much. This would have been, it was supposedly, according to Jerry Elliott, this is the set that he, was, he used to record Sweet Emotion. We also know that, uh, as you can see, uh, on several of the drums, three of the drums, there is Joey's initials engraved in, uh, the, in the hoops. Um, but Joe, you know, going back that far, Joey could not be sure, you know, just from the pictures he saw, that this is in fact the same drum set that he gave Jerry Elliott uh, way back then, just because uh, it's just hard to say. Uh, that being said, there are some very specific details about this set that uh, are seen in, uh, in very common videos that uh, help prove that this set is the actual set that uh, Joey was playing back in the day. Uh, probably the biggest factor is this Rogers Swivomatic Double Tom. So that would not have been stock equipment, obviously, on a Fibes drum set. So uh, you know, there's some Midnight Special video uh, from the TV show where you can clearly see the uh, Rogers Tom mount, which is also mounted very close to the front hoop. Um, which just kind of helps uh, tie in the connection between what, what you're seeing in the video and the actual drum set. Uh, that's a very important factor. You'll also see the Rogers tom mounts on the uh, floor tom. What's also interesting about this set is that the drums have uh, different badges on them. They're all Fibes badges, which are from the early 70s, um, but You'll see the rack tom, the bass drum, and the 18-inch floor tom all have the smaller square badge, and the, uh, the other 14-inch floor tom and the 16-inch floor tom have the rectangular badge, uh, which I believe these are the earlier version, um, but there seem, seems to be some uh, argument about that among different drum historians. Uh, Anyway, they, regardless, they are definitely seeming in the catalogs of the period. They are the, uh, all these badges were from the same, that early 70s period.
You also notice that there are two 14 inch rack toms. Both of those are the same size. Um, so that uh, kind of begs a question, like what's up with that? Now, in the dozens and dozens of pictures that I've gone through, I've clearly found photographs that show two rack toms that are the same size, and then I see pictures where there are clearly two rack toms that are different sizes, um, which kind of proves what I had sort of thought all along, is that throughout the period that uh, Joey used these, which would be like between 73 and 75, uh, the drum set was used in different configurations. Um, now, then you think, I mean, why might that have happened? And again, at this point, you really just kind of have to do, be like do forensics and try and figure out the story. Um, one little piece of the story that I got is from a guy who knew him way back in the day, and he just remembers having a conversation with Joey. Uh, Joey talking about how much he loved these drums, except that he cracked the bass drums all the time, and he'd been through like about five of them. If you look in some of the photographs, th this is a 26 inch bass drum, if you look in some of the photographs of this drum set, it looks like it's a smaller bass drum, like a 24 inch bass drum. Then you see other photographs, it looks like it's definitely a 26. So I gotta make a theory there and think that if he was in fact cracking so many bass drums, perhaps the earlier ones were 24s and at some point in the replacements that he got, he got a 26. Um, you'll see clearly, like uh, there's the photo from the cover of the uh, Aerosmith book it's called Walk This Way. You can clearly see that is a smaller bass drum and on that drum set, it has the stock fives tom mounts. And that, that, that was a pretty early picture. And then you'll see like from the uh, Midnight Special video, appears to be a, a larger bass drum and uh, clearly is this uh, Rogers tom mount. So without having the uh, documentation directly from you know, somebody at the source, uh, a crew member, the person who bought these directly from Joey, who, who by the way, is this guy named Jerry Elliott, who I have not been able to locate. Usually, I'm pretty good. I can track somebody down and get this information. Jerry Elliott seems to have fallen off the face of the earth. But uh, there were quite a few conversations between the guy that Jerry Elliott sold this drum set, who was the guy that I got them from. So that's still a work in progress, and it's just kind of what I do. I uh, I track down information and you know, you, you go online, you do all kinds of different, search every uh, alley you can come up with and hopefully you get the story sooner or later. Um, let's talk a little bit about the set itself. Uh, these are standard size, uh, so it'd be a 26 by 14, a 14 by 10, so both 14 by 10 inch uh, rack toms, 16 by 16, and then a 18 by 16 floor tom. Uh, something notable about the, the two rack toms is that on the left rack tom, this was drilled originally for a, the, the Rogers tom mount. There's no uh, other holes. If you look on, the, um, on this rack tom, the one on my right, you can see the holes from the original fives mount. See, there, you see there's a couple holes on up above and below. Um, so at some point, that mount got switched over to the Rogers. So we do know that he was, Joey was using the Fives mounts early on and at some point switched uh, and apparently mounted this to one of those drums uh, that he was using early on. So I guess that's kind of telling me that this drum was absolutely one of the drums that he was using early in the, uh, in the progression. So always interesting. Who knows if I'll, if I'll ever get the absolute story, but uh, you know, that's what I do. Also included with this drum set was a premier uh, five by 14 snare. Now, uh, in Joey's recollection, he said he, did, he didn't recall this snare drum. Uh, and who knows, at some point, this snare drum could have gotten switched. 
The one thing I do know is that in other collections of drums, of Joey's, that I have seen and I've got my hands on, uh, there were premier snare drums of this era in those collections. So who knows? That's, that's, that's how much I know and I, like I said, the, uh, the detective work is in the uh, is in process right now. So I'm really actually hoping somebody's going to see this video and who's going to know something about some of this and it's going to help me uh, shine some light on these. So here we are. There it is. Uh, Joey Kramer's early 70s, like 73 to 75 range uh, clear fives drum kit. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Don's Drum Vault. There's lots more cool stuff like this where this came from. Hopefully we see you again very soon.